this land was for sale, but they took it off the market because they believe in my dream. And we're gonna um, hopefully make this into a farm someday. I know a long time ago on this island people had farms and people grew their own food and I just tried to resurrect what was, resurrect the farm. This is, I'm going to fill it up um, with the hose. A great experiment. The IO program appealed to me because I am a leader, whether I like it or not. And I, I, I was really interested to see what it could help me accomplish in my community. IO is part of our island education fund, which provides support for island communities along a continuum of educational paths. We've been looking at serving other leadership programs, but when we met with Leadership for Local Change, our partners, what really made sense for us was the partnership between entrepreneurship, leadership, and advocacy that their curriculum allows so that island leaders going through the process have a chance to practice their skills in advocacy and develop a local social change business plan. The program was structured around three long weekend retreats. The first retreat was really about bringing the cohort together as a group, having them learn about each other and about their communities and what their shared hopes and visions for their time in the program was and also what their shared hope for their communities were. And it really built a nice network among each of the leaders. So it was really about community building and giving people a chance to find their voice and talk about what, how they saw themselves as leaders within their communities. She said, let me tell you what you are. And she wrote it up and, and she's put it's a change agent or a catalyst. Yes. And that helped me because I was like, oh, all right, I'm just the start of something, you know, and then you, you just start, another person gets All I know is coming out of that first weekend, there was so much energy and just good vibes and just, it was a, such a positive experience. There's a lot of potential that can come from this, even if it's outside of the framework of what is supposed to happen here, you know, uh, like the relationships that you're building, the connections that you're building. You know, for that aspect alone, I mean, that, that you know, has a, you know, intangible benefit, you know, right there. The second weekend was hard and fast on the business side of things. So within the program, everyone creates a social change business plan, which means that everyone needed to understand how to develop financial statements, profit and loss statements, cash flow statements, balance sheets, um, and project them in a realistic way based on the business plans that each individual was working on. I've been probably trying to write my business plan for three or four years. How powerful it was to sit with a group of people that I didn't really know and to be able to explain to them with a lot of words what I was trying to do with my business and have them hear me and come back and say what they heard. And for me to be able to then take that and very, very quickly come up with a, a vision and a purpose to my business. It was fabulous. They left in March with having what they needed for the framework to build a business plan and they spent the, the next two months really writing the narrative of their business plan and working out the financials as well as starting on a PowerPoint kind of marketing plan for how they can go and talk to folks about what they need to accomplish their business plan. I'm here because I needed a push as in a sounding board to flesh out what more I could do to contribute to the sustainability of the island. Um, but it would also keep an island business on the island that would help uh, support the economy here. Islanders have the potential and the responsibility different than in other communities to solve their own problems and find solutions for themselves. <coughs> in these challenging economic times that are becoming ever more difficult, these skills are more necessary than ever. And I want to help connect those dots. And what I'm asking you here today is that everybody is a potential funder. I'm running this like a community supported art project. We will start our business in July 2012 and we will target our market of the customers that come over for the summer and have houses that they don't occupy year round. Next slide. Today, what you see are people who have 
solidly have a sense of who they are, have a plan that they absolutely want to implement, the tools to make it happen, and a network to rely on and lean on so that when it gets hard, which it will, they'll be able to ride the, you know, navigate the bumps. I'm excited to reintroduce farming culture to my island. It'd be my, my pleasure to meet with you at, uh, this afternoon to tell you more about my project. And I would, it, <laughs> oh, excuse me, thank you very much. <laughs> Courageous, loving, honest, transparent, you know, all the things you want in leadership, these people represent. Absolutely. Hi, Catherine, it's Alana. How are you doing? I approached this lady about using her land to garden on and re inspired her, and now she's a 4 H volunteer, and it's really exciting. So I, I, feel, I feel really good about being an islander and I feel like it's a, a gift to live here. But I think what the Isle program did for me as an individual was help me narrow my focus and help me figure out m my purpose and what drives me. And When you have an idea and you want to make it happen, when you live on an island you get to see results faster. And so, yeah, you can keep running a little bit. Yeah.